he just bopped me right in the face. Yo, you just hit me with a stick. Why you take it big again? Me? I was talking with the sergeant. I said, I've been doing this for 11 years. I've never seen anything like this. Have you? He said, I've been doing this for 30 years. I've never seen anything like this. We showed the mayor a set of photos of a man who's living up in a tree in Riverside Park for the last few months. He came down on it pretty squarely and just said, yeah, we're gonna get rid of this. So I was given the assignment of actually reporting on this man being evicted from a tree. We've never seen that before. I've never even heard of anyone being evicted from a tree. The Parks Department, I think it was actually, put up notices around his tree. You know, basically like eviction notices that on Monday you're gonna be evicted from this tree. And right around 9.40, I saw this head kind of pop out the side and yell something. And I figured, all right, he's in there. So I grabbed my phone, I hit record, and I zoomed in so I could see a little more detail. And I saw him climbing down very impressively. Like I couldn't have climbed down uh, out of that treehouse the way he did. And he got down to the bottom and he started walking up this really serious embankment. All the while he was screaming to me, basically about filming it. And when he got up to the top, he just bopped me right in the face with, with the stick. Yo, you just hit me with a stick. Why are you take it big again? Me? Again. He doesn't like the fact that our photographer is taking video of him or photos of him. And he takes a couple of steps toward our photographer and wham! Look, hey, hey. He, just, he just attacked, he just attacked the photographer and smashed his camera. Then the police move in after he attacks the second journalist. Now that he's been booked, we know his, his name is Rowell Altanaga. He's 44, and I gotta say, for a 44-year-old, that is one of the most fit 44-year-olds I've ever seen. Now, I don't think this guy was trying to hurt me. I don't think he was trying to knock me out or do any permanent damage. I think he was trying to intimidate me. I think his survival skill to this point have been centered around intimidation. I think that's kept him safe in the environments that he's been in for a while. So after he was arrested, after he was uh, handcuffed and, and brought to the 30th precinct, an entire fleet of New York City parks vehicles all sorts of equipment, went down there and they cut up, well, four large trees that I saw that were kind of like converged onto the one big tree where he had his tree house. So he was arraigned the next morning. Uh, he was charged with second degree assault and criminal mischief. The only reason he wasn't released in a few hours, it took him like 12 hours to be released, was because he was being so difficult with the police, just fighting them every step of the way as far as the next step in the process. But he was still arraigned and released, you know, the very next morning. The day after the arraignment, we had a reporter there waiting to see if he went back up. And sometime during the night, he did go back up because the uh, reporter could see his legs hanging out. Eventually climbing down, walking up the side of the hill to talk to the police officers. He's gonna be checking in with social services basically and they're going to be trying to secure him a more permanent safer home so if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to stay abreast of the latest stories that we're covering here for the new york post